Hey you, you're watching a segment of Shiftcast. If you want to see the other segments or the full episode, you can go to YouTube or you can listen to it on Spotify. Enjoy. Next up. Is next up. <laughs> next up is the next up validating tour. And we talked about this a little bit last episode. We kind of gave our nominations and gave a shout to all the players that were next up uh, and, and had such wonderful seasons. And we are going to reveal our valedictorian for the 2024 season. Can we, uh, is there any way to get a drum roll maybe? The 2024 valedictorian shift cast next up is uh, Drolly. Hey. <laughs> to no oh, surprise. <laughs> Canada. We stand well, on guard. Oh, that I actually started from the bottom. But. Anyway, shout out to Canada. Shout out to once again producing a generational talent. We've done that a few times before. My North American goat, Drolly, has absolutely, uh, you know, he, from the first, you know, there's a lot of questions about him in the first regional. Can he, you know, yeah. it's, it's, it's yeah. not an easy, famously not a super easy fit for a lot of players with Monkey Moon. He demands a ton. It's not so much toxic as it is he demands greatness. Yeah. Uh, from what I know, and um, you know, he stepped up. He's developed. He's even gotten better. And now I think he's a uh, serious, seriously in that conversation for top yeah. five. Uh, I mean, he he board. he very quickly erased those questions. I remember I was yeah. at the very beginning of the season. I remember I said, "Will the three on gentle mates? Will they will they mesh? We know what kind of ceiling they potentially have, but will they do it?" And then I remember saying. Uh, would this BDS team click with Drolly being new? Is he going to jump right in? And man, he did. I mean, straight away, it felt like there was no, it felt like there was no transition period. I mean, he was just a top yeah. level player from the jump. Very much like a Daniel esque thing where it's like, okay, he's up there. Like we got to put him up there with the best players. And yeah. then we're just going. And it wasn't so much Zen where it's like, Oh, right. that's the best player in the world. But it was very much like, like when he's Daniel in- joined SSG within the first event, when they got top two, yeah. it was just like, okay, that, Guy is one of the yeah. 10 to 12 best players in the world. And I think he's only gotten better since then. Which is insane. Yeah, I mean, we, we have been so spoiled with incoming talent and how, you know, yeah. I've outlined it earlier, but these, these guys, they just, they just immediately make a huge impact wherever they land. It is so impressive. Yeah, totally. And we already knew, and, and every pro player knew that Drali was going to do well online. Online, offline is yeah. a very different story. That that's what most of the concerns were about as well coming into the season. And in Copenhagen, I mean the quarterfinals were rough against G two, but otherwise well played, well done. He's just a solid player from the start, and yeah, yeah that that's really really impressive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think to me, what I think was the culminating point of his season was the final qualifier against endpoint where it was just a wacky series it was very strange yeah. um it was it didn't feel like something where they like should have won should have lost it just it was one of those ones where it felt like anything could happen put up a 1.5 right yeah. in, in, in a you know crucial point they deferred to him right they said okay we need our young young star to dominate at, at at the highest level in order to squeak out a win that we shouldn't get and he's and he did it and that's what superstars do superstars win you series you shouldn't win yeah. um and i think to me that was sort of the also i also want to point out the fact that you know michael uh excuse me yens pointed out the quarterfinal exit disappointing and then they come back and they lose again in the quarterfinals to resolve a team that they just should not be losing to back at home and what do they do as a response you know they don't cower they don't fall away from the t- from the moment. They don't get tilted and and you know hang up another poor performance. They win two back to back events. You know that shows a, a mental fortitude. And like Michael said earlier, um, you know the team demands greatness, and and he has delivered immediately. So thanks for watching this segment of Shiftcast. The other segments and the full episode are available on our YouTube channel, and you can listen to it on Spotify.